My name is Mr. Ishengoma. Today we are going to be looking at um, angles in polygons. We are looking at angles in polygons. And to be specific, we are going to be looking at the examination questions. Question number one says, each interior angle of a regular polygon is 30. Work out the number of sides of the polygon. So if we are given the exterior angle, we know our formula is exterior angle is always equal to 360 degrees divided by number of number of sides. So if we know our exterior angle is 30, that means 30 is equal to 360 divided by n. Then I will exchange 30 with n and I will have 360 degrees divided by 30 degrees and that will give me 12. Hence this shape will have 12, 12 sides. Number two, work out the size of an exterior angle. Work out the size of an exterior angle. Now, basically, this shape has got one, two, three, four, five. So if a shape has five sides and I know exterior angle, we get it by 360 over N. And if our shape has five sides, that means 360 divided by five, automatically I will get my, my exterior angle. And my exterior angle will be, will be 72 degrees. Question number three. Calculate the size of the exterior angle of the regular hexagon. Hexagon has got six, six sides. And we know to get exterior angle, we do 360 divided by N. So since I have six sides, I'll do 360 divided by, divided by six and it gives me 60. Hence, my exterior angle will be 60 degrees. Question four. The size of each exterior angle of a regular polygon is 40. Work out the number of sides of the regular polygon. Okay, so we know Exterior angle is equal to 360 divided by N. Since our exterior angle is 40, is equal to 360 over N, I will exchange and I have N is equal to 360 over, over 40. And finally, I get number of sides as nine sides. Number five. The size of each interior angle of a regular polygon is 156. Work out the number of sides. Okay, so if the interior angle is 156, that means interior angle plus exterior angle, I get 180. So if the interior is 156, I can be able to know what is my exterior angle. Hence, exterior angle is 180 minus 156. And I get my exterior angle as 20, 24 degrees. After getting the exterior angle, so I know the formula, exterior angle is equal to 360 over N. So 24 is equal to 360 over N. I exchange N will be equal to 360 over 24. And then when I do divide, I get 15. Hence, this shape will have 
15 sides. Question six. Here is a regular polygon. So whenever you hear the word regular polygon means a shape which has got all the sides with equal size of length and equal size of angles. So work out the size of exterior angle. And we know exterior angle is equal to 360 over N. So if the shape has got nine sides, means it's 360 divided by, divide by nine. Then I get my answer as 40 degrees, as one exterior angle of a shape that has got nine sides. I go to question number seven. The A, work out the size of each interior angle of a regular octagon. So octagon stands for eight, eight sides. So if I want to find one interior angle, I will use the formula interior angle is equal to n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. So I will substitute n with 8 because there are 8 sides. So I get over 8. Then when I work up, uh, 8 minus 2 is 6. 6 times 180, I get 1,000 and 80 divided by 8 and that will give me uh, 135. This means each interior angle will be 135 degrees. I go to part B. The size of each exterior angle of a regular shape of a regular polygon is 30. Work out the number of sides. So if I know if I know the exterior angle, then 360 divided by n, I can find number of sides. So the exterior angle is 30, and I have 360 over n. So I exchange n is equal to 360 divided by 30, and this will give me the shape with 12, 12 sides. Question number eight. The diagram shows part of a 10-sided polygon. Work out the size of the angle X. So X will stand for, X stands for interior angle. So I know in order to get interior angle, I use the formula is equal to N minus two times 180 then I divide by n. So since this shape has got 10 sides, so I will take 10 minus two times 180 and I'll divide it by 10. So I get 1,440, 1, I divide by 10 and finally I get that interior angle as 144 degrees. So I write my final answer as 144 degrees. I go to question number nine. The diagram shows a regular hexagon and a regular octagon. So hexagon will have six sides. Octagon will have 80, 80 sides. So I need to find the value of x. So basically, if you look at the two shapes, the two shapes are joined here. So if they're joined here, I need to prolong this line and I get a straight line. So if I get a straight line, this means uh, this will be my interior angle for the shape and this part will be my exterior angle. So if this is my exterior angle and I know this shape has got six sides, that means I take 360, divide by six so that I can know my exterior angle. 
So my exterior angle will be 60 degrees. So this one exterior angle is 60 degrees. The same to the other side. If this side here is the interior angle, then this part is the exterior angle. So if this is the exterior angle, and we know it is 360, and this is octagon, which has eight sides, so I have to divide by eight. So when I divide by eight, I end up with 45 degrees. So 45 degrees will represent this exterior angle for octagon, and 60 degrees will represent the exterior angle for for hexagon. So when I want to find the value of x, the value of x simply will be the sum of the two exterior angles. And the final answer will be 105 degrees as the value of x. Question number 10. Question number 10. The diagram shows a square and four regular pentagons. So pentagons, we know uh, it has five sides. And a square, it means all the angles of a square will be 90. Now, for a pentagon, to get the, uh, the one angle, one interior angle, then I will get five minus two times 180, and I divide by five. So I get 540, then I divide by five, and I get 108 as one interior angle. So if one interior angle is 108, so means this corner is 108 here, and this corner here is 108 there. So if this is 108, it means now I have, I have a, a circle here. If you check properly here, this becomes a circle. So if that's a circle, then I will take 108 plus 108 plus 90 and plus x, this will give me 360 degrees because it is, it is a circle. So if all that, I add them all the three, I will be able to get 306 plus x is equal to 360. So x will be 360 take away 360. And the value of x will be 54 degrees. We go to question number 11. Now, question number 11 says A, B, C, D, E, and E, H, J, K, L are regular pentagons. Regular pentagons. Previously, we have just seen a pentagon and we have got the interior angle of a pentagon as 108. So work out the size of the angle DEH. So DEH is the angle there. So we need to find that angle. But if I, from the previous question, we got one interior angle of a pentagon as 108. And since this is a triangle, Triangle means three minus two times 180 divided by three. So that means three, uh, sorry, 180 divided by three, I get 60 degrees. So this means this part here will be 60 degrees. And we are looking for this unknown there. I can name it X for now. So this means I will take 108 plus 108 plus 60, plus the unknown, which I've just given the letter X, I should get 360 because this now has formed a circle. Then I add all these three, and I get, if I add all the three, I will get 276. 
plus x is equal to 360 degrees. So when I take them the other side, it will be six, uh, 360 minus 276. And finally, my x will be 84 degrees. Then I go to question number 12. Question number 12. The diagram shows part of a pattern made from tiles. Part of pattern made from tiles. So we can see we have pattern of tiles A and tiles B. So the question says, the pattern is made from two types of tiles, tiles A and tiles B. Both tiles A and tiles B are regular polygons. Work out the angle, work out the number of sides of tiles A. Work out the number of sides of tiles A. So since it's a regular uh, shape, meaning all interior angles will be equal. So this interior angle, that interior angle, this interior angle, that interior angle, ETC, all of them will be, will be equal. And if this uh, tiles B is a triangle, so that means this triangle will have angles 60, 60, and 60. Therefore, if you check properly, uh, if you check properly tile A, if you check properly tile A, you realize that tile A goes like that. Mm -hmm. And then here is interior, here is interior. So I can find here, if I prolong this line, if you see properly, I've prolonged the line inside the tiles B there. If I prolong that line, I get a straight line from there and I get straight line from down. So this straight line will cut, will cut the, angle of a triangle into two parts and it will be 30. And this side it will be 30. This will tell us that for tiles A, its exterior angle is basically 30 degrees. The exterior angle of tile A is 30 degrees. So if I know the exterior angle of tiles A is 30 degrees, this means I can know the number of sides of tiles A. How? Because I know exterior angle is equal to 360 divided by n. Therefore, if this is 30, means 360 divided by n, and I exchange n, so n will be 360 divided by 30. And finally, the number of sides uh, for this uh, tiles A will be 12 sides. 12 sides. So, we have looked at 12 questions with different tricks and all of them were about polygons. Thank you for watching. My name is Mr. Ishengoma.